adventurous side says we have to see where this leads. of nightlife too. as a yes? doesn't understand what we're saying. Doesn't look like any cogs are turning in there. <laughs> Apparently you are here by invitation, in which case it's my job to make you feel welcome. Some introductions are in order. I am Koholam, one of the priests of our tribe. And this is our Iktomisor elder, the great Tlapokpoktitztetl, a living totem among the masters of the Nightwind. Whoa, that's quite a tongue twister. In truth, we usually go with Elder Tlapo for short. You're welcome to do the same. Ah, I assume you're referring to our Elder's special ability. Elder Tlapo has been alive for many centuries and harbors secrets that even we priests are at a loss to explain. So your reaction is entirely natural. But one thing I can say for sure is that Elder Tlapo has appointed the two of you to an extremely important task. For this reason, I would like to ask you to undergo a test. What sort of task? And what kind of test? If it's alright with you, 
I'll take you to see our chief. He's in a much better position to answer your questions. Um, okay, sure. Very well. Then please follow me. You can use this scroll to go directly to the obsidian altar, where the chief is. Don't worry, it's just one of the many mystical abilities of our tribe. You can use this scroll to go directly to the obsidian altar, where the chief is. Don't worry, it's just one of the many mystical abilities of our tribe. the routine duties of a priest. We attempt to contact the spirits of our ancestors to seek epiphanies and revelations. The chief is just over there. Please wait here while I have a word with him. I'll just be a moment. Well, the masters of the Nightwind are definitely living up to their reputation as the mysterious ones. All right, I've told the chief why we're here, and now you may speak with him, right this way. So, you two are the appointed ones. <laughs> I am Chief Biram. Welcome, and uh, thank you for your patience. So tall. <laughs> Unusually so. Uh, yes, I am aware. But I assure you, it's no cause for alarm. Oh, no, of course not. Sorry, Paimon just reacted without thinking. Ah, yes. Uh, Kaholam told me about that. As outsiders to our tribe, this is probably the first you've heard of such appointments. <laughs> I'm sure the whole thing seems very confusing. Throughout our history, only members of the Masters of the Nightwind have been appointed to undertake these tasks. This is the first time an outsider has ever been chosen. Really? Allow me to explain. Our tribe has an old tradition of recording history in the form of woven scrolls. And not just our own history. We record the legends and heroic feats of all other tribes as well. It is a tradition we have observed for many centuries. We treat it as a solemn duty. However, when a major event occurs that affects all of Natlan, we record it on a different kind of scroll used for this exact purpose. And these scrolls can only be woven by someone of the Ictomisaur Elder's choosing. When the Ictomisaur Elder senses a major change in the ley lines, it will issue a formal declaration to appoint a creator for this scroll. Whoa, so you mean... Elder Telepo sensed a ley line change quite some time ago, but had not yet designated the scroll weavers until you arrived. Okay, but just so you're aware, we don't know the first thing about weaving scrolls. As a matter of fact, that does not surprise me at all. How come? In the 200 years that Elder Talapo has held this position, none of the appointed ones have ever been experienced scroll weavers. Does that mean 200 years of major historical events have gone unrecorded? No. They all submitted scrolls in time, yet each of them claimed it was not their own work, but a gift from the spirits. 
Man, this tribe gets more mysterious by the second. Yes, well, that is the part that troubles me. The notion that we have to rely on esoteric things like gifts from the spirits to record historical events of such great importance... Hmm, it is unsettling. Huh, that's pretty surprising to hear coming from the chief of this tribe. <laughs> I can imagine. Ah, you probably see the Masters of the Night Wind as a people shrouded in mystery who pride ourselves on our arcane practices. But I am something of an exception. I may be the chief, but when it comes to our traditions, I am in fact a proponent of change and reform. I have dedicated my energies to deciphering the many mysteries of our tribe. In doing so, I hope to establish clearer rules that will help sustain our traditions in the future. Wow, that sounds great! So have you figured out the mystery of the gift from the spirits? Hmm, sadly not. It is something I have been investigating for a long time. But I have yet to uncover what this gift truly refers to. Only a small handful of events over the years have been recorded on these special scrolls, with decades between each one. And by the time the next scroll weaver is appointed, my time as chief will be long gone. I will not be in a position to investigate as thoroughly. So... While I haven't gotten to the bottom of the matter, I have made some progress. But the only way I can develop my theories further is with the cooperation of the appointed ones. Precisely. Ah, uh, it's nothing to be worried about. Simply a means of validating my current hypothesis. Eh, it shouldn't take you long, nor will it put you in any danger. I can explain everything in detail when we get to the site of the test. But first, please wait a moment while I change out of the soul shielding cloak. This garb is one of our important cultural relics, handed down by generations of chiefs. It is only to be worn when conducting certain ceremonies. Please, follow me. Do you see this scroll? If you touch it, you will enter a hidden space. Today's test is, quite simply, to find a way to escape that space. That's it? <laughs> I assure you, it's not as easy as it sounds. If you cannot find your own way out, I will of course intervene to bring you back here. But then, we will be no closer to solving this mystery. Good. Simply touch the scroll to begin the test. You may begin whenever you're ready. Teleported. Hmm, it seems like this place is completely sealed off. Doesn't look like there's an exit anywhere. Let's take a look around and see what we can find.
are so many woven scrolls here? Paima remembers seeing some of them before in other tribes. They seem to record historical events. This one really stands out from the rest. For starters, it's the biggest of them all. Wonder what story it tells. Yeah, you're right! Over there, something just flashed. Traveler, did you catch that? Oh, right! Paimon's with you! We finally made it out! It is just as I thought. You are indeed capable of undertaking this mission. <laughs> yes. You saw many distinctive looking scrolls there, didn't you? Sure did. This specific kind of scroll was left to us by our ancestors. Upon investigation, I discovered what sets it apart is the use of a color not featured in ordinary scrolls. It is a most mysterious color that most people cannot even detect. I myself had to employ special techniques to confirm its existence. Yet there are those who are born with a natural ability to perceive it. And that is why I wanted to test you. You mean... That space you just entered was an exhibition room for storing this variety of woven scrolls. Centuries ago, a great shaman by the name of Huitzilin put in place a security measure so that anyone who entered the room without permission would become trapped inside. It exists to this day, and although I have not managed to decipher how it works, I have at least found out how to turn it on and off. Once someone is trapped inside, it is all but impossible for them to escape without outside help unless they share the Great Shaman's ability to perceive that strange color. Hmm... Clearly, you must have this ability, which leads me to believe that our Iktomisor Elder can sense this ability in people, and that it appoints a scroll weaver on this basis. Another secret power? Traveler, you are full of mysteries! Still, having this ability doesn't change the fact that Neither of us know where to start with weaving a scroll. Ah, uh, don't worry about that. 
The method for weaving this kind of scroll appears to be largely the same as for an ordinary scroll. The main difference is in the dye that gives it its unique color. If my suspicions are correct, this dye is the key to weaving the scroll, and your special ability is the key to obtaining it. The dyeing process is also a little different from the norm, but I don't anticipate any major issues there. As long as you two can source the dye itself, I can assist with the application. Cool! We'll follow your lead! Great! Then please use your abilities to source the necessary ingredients. And in the meantime, I will have someone prepare some fabric for test dyeing. We'll make a few sample pieces to test out my hypothesis. And if that goes well, we can begin the scroll in earnest. If you agree to help, you can expect to be handsomely rewarded once this is all over. So, what are your thoughts? Agreed, especially if there's a reward in it. Um, what is the reward, by the way? Is it food? I'm gonna hope it's food. Uh, given the stakes involved for our tribe, I was thinking a substantial sum of mora would be appropriate. <laughs> Surely that would be preferable to just a free meal. Uh, mora works too! <laughs> anyway, how do we go about finding these ingredients? Are we supposed to just keep walking around Natland until we stumble across them? Uh, thankfully not. I've already identified a location where I suspect they may be found and I've arranged for someone to guide you there. Your guide is waiting just outside. You can set off at your leisure. Take it you're the ones appointed by Elder Talapo? Yep! And you are... Call me Toltec. The chief asked me to be your guide for the day. His messengers already filled me in on the situation. So just follow me. this cave, huh? This is as far as I can take you. Only the appointed ones may proceed from here. Uh, why is that? 
Kind of a long story. Apparently, there's a certain fruit that grows in this cave, the juice of which can be processed to make an excellent dye. Many years ago, our ancestors set out to make a series of ambitious works of graffiti art. They selected this cave to make them in, presumably due to the availability of the dye. However, they didn't want anyone to see their work before it was completed, and so they sealed off the entrance to control access. To bypass the seal, you have to have mastered the art of color perception, or something like that. Oh, right. The strange thing is, our ancestors never removed the seal even after they finished the graffiti art. Since it was sealed off, the only person who's been inside is the great shaman, Quetzilin, and that was 300 years ago. According to her, the artwork tells the story of a hero by the name of Kuntur. But I digress. Sorry, I'm a big fan of graffiti artwork. Once I get talking, I can go on for hours. So you're sure you don't want to come with us? I'll pass. I tried to get in once, but the seal blocked my way. I tried getting my Iktomi sword to clear it with its powers, but even that didn't work. I guess it's supposed to be a test left there by our ancestors. If you don't pass the test, you're not worthy of viewing their works of art. Aww. Don't worry about me, though. I wouldn't be joining you this time even if I was able to get in. Unlike our chief, I don't have the guts to challenge our traditions. This task is specifically appointed to someone by the Iktomisor Elder. Who knows what bad things might happen if I got involved. Fair enough. Alright, we'll try not to take too long. You two head on in. I'll wait right here. Take them. I have no need. Thank you. 
something, right? Whatever it was, grab it! Ancestors made some real works of art here. But based on what we've seen so far, it seems like there should be more to the story. Do you think maybe there's more artwork further inside? Seems kind of strange. Oh, no need! Paimon was just thinking aloud. Toltec's waiting for us and we have a job to do. So maybe it's best if we head out now. Let's head back and meet up with Toltec. what you wish to find. Hopefully the excitement of opening a treasure chest has at least made it a worthwhile experience. Illusion shattered! Everyone go here!
I All right, you couldn't let's resist. finish this fast. I see everything. The tides beckon. Is it what you wish to find? This way for the little one. Let the record show that I verbally consent to relinquishing these items into your possession. Sounds like you made it through the seal, then. Arictomisor Elder was right about you. It's getting late. Follow me. I'll take us back.
Toltec has updated me on your progress. Well done. I appreciate your efforts. Sure thing! Here's the stuff for the die! I see. Yes, this is certainly a very different substance from typical dyes. Okay, now let's try our hand at making some samples. The fabric is ready for testing. Got it! Please come with me. Take a look at this. It's a woven scroll made by one of our ancestors. Ah, this is the kind of thing we're trying to make. Ooh. The person depicted is the legendary shaman, Huitzilin. She lived 200 years ago and was once appointed by the Iktomisor Elder, like yourselves. She was especially skilled in the art of color manipulation, and of course completed her task with flying colors. This scroll is a record of her deeds, and was most likely the work of her own hand. The quality is simply breathtaking, even compared to other scrolls of this variety. Sadly, since she passed away, all of our Iktomisor Elder's subsequent appointees have had to rely on the gift from the spirits to complete their work. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. My only quibble with your phrasing would be, it's not just me, but us. <laughs> now Paimon's getting excited. Bring out the samples. Now, as I mentioned, the dyeing process is a little complicated, but I am confident you will manage. Just make sure to follow my instructions carefully. The pattern has already been sketched out on the sample, so you just need to dye each block with the correct color. But you'll need to wait for the dye to fully soak in between each step to make sure the colors don't run. Ha ha ha! Good! The dye has taken to the fabric, and the pattern is crisp and clear. Next, apply all the remaining dye, and we should see that elusive signature color emerge. Okay, final step! Um, did it work? Hyman doesn't see it! Oh... That color isn't showing up. Oh, the dying has failed. Uh, no, your technique was flawless. You did everything exactly as instructed. It would have made no difference if I'd done it myself. Then what went wrong? Hmm. It could be the weaving technique. Or maybe the dye has to be applied in a different way. Oh, whatever the case, it looks like I have failed to get to the bottom of this mystery. Sorry, Paimon wishes we could do more to help. I am the one who should be apologizing. I made you do so much work, and it was for nothing. I will of course honor my commitment to compensate you for your trouble, but... I do hope you won't give up on this task. I plan to keep investigating. I will be sure to keep you updated with any progress. Don't worry, we're not quitters! Paimon does have a question, though. Um, this whole process of recording history on woven scrolls seems so complicated. Why don't you just write it down instead? You said...
said yourself you're all about change and reform. Well, this seems like a pretty good place to start, don't you think? Writing things down would be easier for everyone, and your records would be more detailed. I think you perhaps misunderstood my philosophy, but that's okay. I can answer your question, but there's somewhere I need to show you first. Oh, sure. This view. What do you think? It's gorgeous! Now, try looking a little further. Whoa, that graffiti! In all the years since the founding of our tribe, those colors have been with us every step of the way. It is true that I seek to bring new life to this ancient tribe through change and reform. But I also understand there are certain foundational things that we cannot afford to throw away. The foremost of these is the way we record our history. Oh, that makes sense. Since the very beginnings, our tribe has always sought to bring color to history. And I have a deep sense that this is one part of our heritage that we should not give up. So. Whatever it takes, I must find a way for us to continue producing our traditional woven scrolls. You're completely right. I'm sorry for what she said earlier. It was out of line. Ah, uh, it's quite all right. I'm just grateful you're able to understand where I'm coming from. Hmm. Then let us hope that when we next meet, we succeed in reviving this tradition. <laughs> <laughs> 